What's going on gamers and today we're gonna be showing you guys 10 techniques that are always gonna remain OP in Fortnite. You know we know that the meta is constantly evolving and changing in this game and it can often be difficult to keep up and learn all the new tricks. That's why we're gonna be compiling the list of techniques that will likely remain strong for a very long time if not for the entire future of Fortnite. So even if you're not fully ahead of the meta at all times yo you got a solid base. But real quick, before we get started, I got a question for you. Are you looking to get better at Fortnite? If you are, make your way over to ProGuides.com, where we have exclusive courses for our pro members made by pros like Mongrel and Benji. Yo, along with meta articles and videos to keep you updated on the meta. On top of all of this, we also offer 24-7 on-demand coaching for some of the top world's best players. If any of this amazing stuff is interesting to you, you gotta check out ProGuys.com like immediately. Last thing before we get into this amazing video, let's do the question of the day. Today's question is, what is the simplest yet most effective trick do you use? You know, there are a ton of awesome tricks that fit this description, so I'm really looking forward to reading your thoughts in the comments. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back. Yo, this year, it's about to go down. Man, it is 2020. I am so excited. I hope you guys have goals. I hope you guys have a big vision because you're going to have the best year yet. Are you ready for that? I hope you believe it because I believe it. I believe it for all of us, all right? Connect with me at my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. I believe in you. Let's get this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. It's time to sit back relax and get my favorite candy come on say with me it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going this next technique the martaz classic is another classic technique that we see a surprisingly smaller number of players using despite it being extremely overpowered yo so this technique essentially tricks your opponent into expecting you to jump shot them but instead you know you take another angle and get an easy shot off this technique works against even the best of players even some of the world's best pros have fallen victim to this simple yet effective editing trick. So to do the Martaz Classic, simply edit the top corner of your wall between you and your opponent. Either side works. Then position yourself toward the opposite side and edit the opposite bottom corner without resetting the wall. So if I edit the top left corner first, I'll edit the bottom right second. Your opponent will be too busy expecting a jump shot and pre-aiming your first edit. It'll be too late for them when you open the opposite edit, and you'll most likely get an easy shot off. Since this technique, similar to the Mongrel Classic, doesn't abuse any unfair mechanics, we don't see it being removed anytime soon. This technique is definitely one of the best to learn and practice, okay? As not a lot of players actually use it very often. This next technique is definitely one of the more powerful yet difficult techniques on your list. This technique essentially abuses the 0.15 second delay between the wall breaking and the new wall being placed. Any time a wall is being replaced, instead of just holding your wall out, simply hold your shotgun and time the exact moment when your opponent breaks the wall. You know, there's no specific trick for this technique apart from simply learning the timing by doing it repeatedly. When you use this technique, your opponent will most likely get the wall, but they'll take some heavy damage while doing so as well. So it's easily worth doing if you have enough materials to branch out into another box. You know, we don't see this technique changing much either, as the 0.15 second delay is a pretty fair mechanic in most players' opinions. As long as this delay remains the same, this trick will remain super powerful and should definitely have a place in any advanced player's arsenal of techniques. You know, we recommend simply heading into creative with a friend to practice this technique and having them repeatedly pickaxe and replace your wall and timing the shot for the instant they break it. This won't work super well at first, but given enough time and practice, you can get pretty consistently and it's gonna be super helpful to know. Next up, let's do a bit of an easier technique. The Mongrel Classic, my friends, is just what the name says. It's a classic. It's been around for quite a while now, and almost every single pro has picked this technique up as a major part of their arsenal. So the Mongrel Classic is one of the best techniques due to its genius use of angles. If done correctly, yo, the Mongrel Classic can result in you having a clean shot on your opponent with no chance of being shot back. Okay, so to start off the Mongol Classic, position yourself most of the way toward the left side of the wall and replace the wall. From here, and I mean right here, open the left arc like this, place a ramp inside of the box, and edit the left side of the ramp backwards. One of two things will happen. Either your opponent will end up on the right side of the ramp or on top of the ramp. If they're on the side of it, then you'll have a free shot at the lower part of their body and sometimes even their head. And they won't be able to shoot you back due to the ramp blocking their vision and you having a right hand peek. 
If they end up on top, simply just edit the ramp from the right side to the left and abuse your right hand peak to finish the kill. Whichever way you end up doing it, the Mongo Classic is absolutely insane. And since it's not an exploit of any sort, and all the mechanics involved in it are completely fair, you know, we don't think it's gonna lose its strength anytime soon. So preemptive building is a trick that insane wagers like clicks and playlism use heavily in their 1v1 build fights. But it's also easily applicable to real game scenarios, including box fights and build fights. You know, preemptive building basically refers to placing structures you expect your opponent to try and place or to just block off their movements with your own pieces to gain piece control and edits around them. So the most common use is placing a floor and cone above your opponent when they're pushing for a high ground in a build fight and then editing them both to score an easy shot. However, you know, preemptive building can also refer to placing walls on either side of an opponent's turtle to get piece control if they edit out and placing floors and cones around each neighboring box to control the top of any box they edit into. Any sort of pre-decided piece control is preemptive building. And we definitely recommend practicing your preemptive building so you can use it in real fights. It'll definitely help you guys grab the kill much more often against advanced players. Okay, so our first technique has been around since season five or six and has been widely used by almost every single pro. Okay, surprisingly, you know, for such an old and seemingly simple technique, it really does pack a punch. Okay, so the main goal of this technique is to push yourself into your opponent's box using a ramp and some good timing. To do this technique, the process is pretty simple. Just set up a ramp facing the box you want to phase into, attach to the wall, and pickaxe or shoot it until it's one shot from breaking. Once you've done this, jump while running toward the wall and pickaxe as your character hits the wall. The timing can be a bit difficult, but given some practice, you can get it about 90% of the time. For such a simple and easy to learn technique, this one is really powerful, and we recommend abusing it in box fights and close range battles to pressure your opponent once you've hit them for a good amount of damage. Considering that the phasing mechanics with ramps are pretty balanced and have been mostly unchanged since the earliest days of Fortnite, you know, we don't see this technique failing to work anytime soon. Okay, so the edit bait reset is another relatively simple technique that works surprisingly well against a lot of players. This technique consists of opening an edit in your wall to bait your opponent into shooting, but resetting it before they shoot so their shot goes into your wall. This will usually break your wall and give you guys a few seconds to return fire and take your wall back. To start, simply open any edit that exposes you. Window or triangle edits work well for this. Confirm it and quickly reset it. Your opponent will most likely shoot your wall thinking they're hitting you. But most people's reaction time simply isn't fast enough to comprehend that you're resetting the wall. So their shot is going to end up breaking your wall, giving you a nice time window to return a shot and grab the wall right back. OK, so the main mistake we see people make is overusing the technique against one opponent. If you see it once or twice, don't use it anymore against the same player, please, or they're going to start to expect it and just learn to counter the technique. This technique, guys, is just super simple to perform and simply just take some time to practice to get it right and to master it, resetting the wall fast enough so your opponent can't hit you. Otherwise, it's super easy to use and there's really no good reason for Epic to remove this mechanic from the game in the future. The top right triangle shot is often used by top pros like Kanata, Tifu, and Fiber in their box fights, in game and even during wagers. You know, there's a good reason why this technique is used so much by some of the best box fighters, and that's because it's just so consistent in giving you high damage shots while also covering most of your body from return fire. To do this technique, simply edit a top right triangle and jump, shooting your opponent the second your shotgun goes above the triangle and resetting the wall super fast. Done correctly, my friends, this technique can score you super high damage with little to no risk of actually getting shot back since it only shows a small portion of your head for a split second. Okay, so definitely try this technique out when you get the chance, as it's just super powerful and it gives you guys a good chance of high damage with little chance of anything in return. This technique on our list today is an absolute classic, and it's been in use since the first few seasons of Fortnite. Yo, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, yo, we're talking about the Tifu Classic. The Tifu Classic is a simple yet easy way to get shots off from high ground while also covering yourself from any return fire. To perform the Tifu Classic, you need to be positioned above your opponent, position on a floor or cone, right? Pull out your shotgun and just off the ledge. From here, you should fire your shotgun and pull out your floor to catch yourself as early as possible once you shoot to avoid your opponent getting a shot on you. It's that simple, to be honest. This technique is like amazing against a low ground opponent and can give you guys some nice shots pretty easily. 
On top of all of that, yo, it's super unlikely that the Tifu Classic gets nerfed since it doesn't abuse any broken mechanics and it's just completely fair to use it during fights. Number nine, my friends, is less of a specific technique and more of a general strategy. Right hand peeking. Are you guys ready for that? Come on. Right hand peeking is super overpowered. Whether you're doing it with a ramp spiral edit, a wall edit, a ramp, or even a pyramid, right hand peeking is likely to be around forever. So it's important to learn and understand it. Basically, two factors come in while right hand peeking, okay? Your camera and your weapon. Your camera is behind your character and to the right, which allows you to get more vision when peeking to the right side than the left. Alongside this, your weapon is on the right side of your body, making right hand peeking more viable as you have to peek less to actually shoot. With these two mechanics being at the core of Fortnite, man, we do not see right hand peeking being changed or nerfed anytime soon. So definitely, my friends, give it some practice and master it. That way you can always get an edge above your opponents by utilizing your right hand peeks. The Kanata Classic works very similar to the top right triangle shot. It's basically a jump reset shot that you can use to peak a small amount and get a shot off as well. Okay, so to do the Kanata Classic, edit the tiles except the bottom left tile and the one above it. So the best pattern is starting from the top left and selecting all of the tiles in a smooth clockwise pattern. This is going to position your crosshair in the middle, so you can just follow up by simply jumping, shooting, and resetting just like in the triangle shot we showed before. This is just another variation of a pretty similar thing, but works super well if you're trying to add a bit of variety and throw your opponents off guard. So, you know, they're not just reacting to the same technique over and over. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to connect with me on my new Insta at your motivation guy. I believe in you. I am your number one fan. Believe that this is going to be the best year of your life yet. I hope you believe it because I do. I believe in you and I'm, I'm telling you, man, I'm rooting for you. That's going to be all for our list of 10 techniques that will always remain overpowered in Fortnite. Being familiar with all the techniques on this list is going to allow you to constantly have an edge over your opponents, even if you aren't always 100% up to date in terms of the meta. Speaking of the meta, if you like to stay ahead and always know what's new and overpowered, you know, we offer weekly courses with all the most up to date information over at ProGuys.com. So give that a look if you want to stay ahead of the curve, along with our 24 7 on demand coaching, meta articles, tier lists, and all that fun stuff as well. Thank you guys again. Head into your next games, guys, confident, all right, with these 10 amazing techniques that will always be OP in Fortnite. If you enjoyed this video, we appreciate it a ton. If you drop a like, subscribe, and maybe even share it with some of your friends who might you know like to know these awesome tricks as well remember to tell us in the comments what you like to see next you know we read all your comments and we're going to consider all of your ideas also be sure to check out proguides.com for some amazing exclusive content that you're not going to find anywhere else we'll see you next time